Okay, guys, I just want to let you know that. So, I know I kind of raised my voice in my other videos, and I do apologize for that. But I was trying to make a point there. And that point was, was about the Bible. It was about Jesus, and that the battle that is going on between them and the devil. And by them, I'm talking about God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost versus the devil and the demons. That's a spiritual battle, guys. And it's not like what you see on earth. It is not what you see on TV. It's not what you see on the news. Stop believing all the lies that the devil is telling you. And start believing in the truth from Jesus. Jesus defeated the devil. And notice how I'm using God's names and not the name of the devil. How the world portrays it to be. And how they say it. Like Jesse Duplantis, Kenneth Copeland, even him right here. They always mention the name of the devil but they don't mention the names of god god gets all the credit here he owns cattle on a thousand hills he owns the whole universe the devil he don't own nothing he's a big fat zero that has no high number and god is over a thousand god has more numbers than the devil see god's number is seven 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 the enemy is the other one. I'm not even going to say the number. I'm not allowed to say it. God convinced me of it. And what I mean by that is I'm not allowed to say the name of anything of the devil. Because God would say, no, you can't say that. That's a sin. Anything from the devil is a sin. Mark of the beast is a sin. And if you take it, you are not going to buy and sell. You go to hell. You will buy and sell if you have the number. Don't do it, guys. Don't, don't accept the world. Let it go. I got to work on that. I got to learn that. I'm not taking no mark of the beast. I'm not doing it. I'd rather eat nothing and be with God for eternity in heaven than eat something and go to the devil. I'm not doing it. I'm drinking water. I mean, I'm going to take good care of myself. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to read the Bible and know more about God because God, God knows whether I'm going to do it or not. Don't judge, guys. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. Judge not lest you be judged, because the same matter you will be judged. You. That goes you and everybody else out there. Don't judge, and you will not be judged. That goes for myself. I'm not going to judge. You know, if you want to live your life, that's on you. But don't be surprised that there's consequences for that in hell. Because there is. There's consequences for how... Everybody lives here on this planet. But I don't want that. I want, I don't want the easy way out because there's no easy way out. But I do want Jesus Christ. I want Jesus Christ to get me away from that. And he did. He went to the cross. And Jesus already overcame the world, guys. There's good news in all this. This is not religion. This is about Jesus Christ himself. Did Jesus ever say Christianity is the way, the truth, and the life? No, he's... Or Juda Judaism, because he was Jewish. No. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that no man comes unto the Father except by me. He didn't say anything about religion. That is what's wrong with the world today. They portray him as a religion. They portray him as some meme on TikTok. They, all these things, somebody has to say it, guys. Jesus has no internet. Think about that. The internet is trying to portray Jesus as some guy who talks and says, "If you if you don't scroll through if if you know if you don't scroll through my video, you're you don't believe. Stop doing that. Believe. Click on the video. Type an amen. You're a believer. That is not how it works. You guys are missing out, man. You, Jesus said, "If you call on my name, you will be saved." He didn't say anything about if you scroll through a video. You're, you, you're with the devil. And if you type in amen in the comments and watch this video and send it to somebody, send it to three friends, you are, you know, you're a believer. You believe. that is not, The internet had nothing to do with it. Jesus said, if you call on me, you will be saved. And also, he knows that we are saved by grace. And Jesus has grace. Jesus is the grace we are saved by. Guys, that is not how Jesus talks. He doesn't have a real deep voice like this. 
Hey everybody, my name is, you know, I'm Jesus, you know, click on this video and you will watch it and this and that. No, I'm not coming, in, you know, you know, click on this video, don't scroll, you know, type in amen in the comments and like this video. No, y'all have been deceived if you already fallen for that. And I've, I'll admit it, I've done it on TikTok, but I've realized Jesus is not a meme, guys. He's a, he's the son of God. Stop making fun of him. Stop committing blasphemy. In the name of Jesus, I command you to stop it. Stop committing blasphemy and making fun of him and saying things to give credit to the devil. Y'all give him too much, the enemy too much credit. And you wonder why he laughs at you. He mocks you behind your back. He makes fun of you and he, and he wants you destroyed. The devil wants you destroyed. He doesn't want you saved. He wants you in hell for eternity with him. You want those consequences? You wish for it, you get it. You want no part of that. I want nothing like that. I want, when I pass away, I told God this. To be absent from Him is to be present with Him in heaven. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You want that. You don't want the other one. Those are your choices, guys. You have heaven. You have hell.